Hi everyone, it's Top Tip Tuesday time again. Bob here from Insidium. Hello. So today we're going to be jumping into Teo and I'm going to show you a cool technique where we can create a custom tree and we can make this tree based on the volume of any scene object, so a model, a logo, whatever you like. So let's jump into Cinema 4D and we'll start the clock. Let's go to our Insidium tab and to Teo and we'll bring in a Teo tree. That brings in this object and a growth point. Now the growth point is the point from where our trunk grows and it is attracted to attraction points within this volume. Uh, let's have a look at those. We'll go to the Teo tree, we'll go to the display and we'll activate the attraction point display and the crown mesh. Now the white things are the attraction points and the blue cylinder is the crown mesh. That's the object from where those attraction points are being created. Let's go to the volume points tab and we can control this. Look, by default it's 100 attraction points. Let's put it up to 1000 and now look, we've got loads more attraction points which means loads more branches and these are all kind of fighting for viable space being attracted to the points without ever intersecting. So we can adjust this crown shape should we wish with the tree crown profile spline but actually we don't want to do that. We want to use some scene geometry. Now this might be a model, it might be your logo, uh, whatever. So we'll go to the generation method and change it to volume objects. I've got my insidium duck here, look let's just make that visible. Here's my object, this insidium rubber duck. So let's go to our tail tree, we'll drag that into the volume objects and now we'll make the duck invisible and you'll see that those volume points have now been created within the volume of that duck and there we've got our tree which is looking much more duck-like. So let's go to our display, we'll switch all these displays off now, we don't need to see those and we'll have a look at how we will adjust the polygons in our tree. So let's hit NB to see those polygon lines. Now we can adjust how many polygons we've got here. I want to make this a bit lower polygon count so it's lighter in the viewport. So look, I'm going to take my ring segments and reduce that down to say six. And we're also going to increase this resolution length, which means we'll have fewer polygons. This is saying by increasing this from five to say 10, it's saying it'll only create a new segment up um, every 10 centimeters rather than every five so that means fewer polygons all right now that's done let's create some leaves we can actually look at the organ mode a leaf is a type of organ so would a bit of fruit would be a type of an organ by default it's set to single poly which is a very efficient way of handling those but look we can just put this on multi instances which is a really efficient way of um, processing those leaves so now we've done that let's go to the leaves tab and we're going to activate use leaves and when we do this when we come in you'll see a really simple bit of geometry has been created for every leaf we could go really detailed with this and make it super high poly um, but that obviously is going to be harder to process we could also use x particles here for our leaves for kind of wind effects but we're just going to keep a really simple uh, geometric shape for this demo so let's go to the geometry tab we're going to reduce the length segments down even by one, so there's only three, so it's even fewer polys, but we'll just make it look a little bit more leaf-like by adjusting this leaf profile spline. So what we'll do is I'm going to click a knot here, and if I bring this one down, it's going to pinch it in where the leaf comes out the branch, and then if I pull this one down, it's going to pinch it in at the tip of the leaf. So that already looks a little bit more leaf-like. Then in the size, maybe we could just put this down to 0.95 and make it a bit smaller. We could add a bit of variation, say 20%. Excellent. And then just finally, if we come out, you'll see that we've got some leaves which are coming out and popping out from the trunk, which we don't want. So we can fix that in the distribution. And our position on tree spline, we take this knot, which is the base of the trunk if I move this along you'll see that we're pushing those leaves up and we no longer have them coming out the trunk okay that's looking excellent let's hit NA to hide the lines so now if we want to fill this out a little bit we just need to add more points so let's go to our volume points and the attraction points let's ramp this way up to say 5000 and it's going to take time to process simulate and there we go now we've got loads more Let's stick some materials on here. We'll go to our material manager. 
go to our materials tab i've created these really simple cinema 4d materials so we'll drag in the bark highlight it we'll assign it to the trunk and then we'll also click this so we'll assign it to the trunk's children which are the branches so now the branches have that same material and now we'll drag in our leaf one and two the leaf one we'll highlight it assign it to leaf and then for a bit of variation we'll highlight leaf two also assign that to leaf and now we've got light and dark leaves and a really nice detailed tree based on the volume of our object and we can animate this should we wish let's go to the object properties tab and look we can animate the growth we can grow that tree and the leaves on and off